thanks for joining me today. My name is Erica. I'm with UMBC Recreation. And today I'm teaching a quick 15 minute gentle yoga and meta meditation session. In this class, you can expect slow, low intensity movement. We hold our poses for a little longer than I normally would in my other classes. And we end with a five minute meta meditation, which is also known as loving kindness meditation, where we practice giving love to ourselves as well as to those around us. Today, we're gonna to get started laying down. Before we start, I wanna to mention to always listen to your body and always check with your doctor before you start a new exercise regimen. So now let's get started on our backs. Go ahead and lay down flat on your mat. Arms at your sides, palms face up, legs spread nice and wide, let the toes fall out. Start with the eyes closed and some nice deep breaths. Imagine filling the entire body with breath, not just the belly and the chest. Moving the breath through the arms and through the legs. Up through your face. Begin to exhale out through the mouth, releasing any anxiety from our day any stress and tension in the body. Imagine it leaving as we exhale out through the mouth. But if the eyes were closed, you can gently open them now and resume your normal breath. Draw the legs together and draw right knee in towards your chest, holding below the knee, pulling the thigh close to the body. If this is uncomfortable for your knee for any reason, hold on to the back of the thigh instead. Keep both feet flexed. It's a great stretch for the low back. Breathe through the stretch. Bend your left knee, placing the foot to the mat and extend your right leg up towards the ceiling, holding onto the thigh now if you weren't already, pressing out through the right heel. Getting a nice stretch on the back side of the leg. Then point through the toes, stretching from the front side of the leg. And switching back and forth from flexing to pointing a few times. Cross the ankle into figure four. So right ankle crosses over the left knee. So your leg should look like an upside down four. Working with the hips here. If you're looking for more sensation in the hips, float the left foot off of the mat, keeping the ankles in line with the knees, feet flexed, and holding on to the back of the left thigh for a little support. Slowly return both feet to the mat and straighten the legs so they're flat along the floor. Draw the left knee in towards the chest now, holding below the knee or on the back of the thigh, flexing the feet. This pose, Apanasana, is not only great for the low back, but also aiding in digestion as we compress our internal organs just a little bit. Bend 
bend the right knee, placing the foot to the mat. And extend your left leg up to the ceiling, now holding on to the back of the thigh, pressing out through the heel. Send your breath through the entirety of your body. Begin to point through the toes. and switch back and forth between flexing and pointing a few times. Cross the ankle into figure four, ankle over knee, and choose whatever option you chose on the opposite side, whether that was keeping right foot to the mat or floating the foot in the air. Feet are flexed. Deep breath. Return both feet to the mat. And draw both knees in towards the chest, feet side by side. Again, holding on below the knees or on the back of the thighs, whatever is most comfortable. And breathe into the back side of the body. Throughout the shoulders and the chest. Gently rock from side to side, keeping the thighs glued to the chest. Place your arms along the floor at shoulder height, palms face up. Let the knees fall to the right side of the floor, keeping the knees in line with the hips and gently turn your head to the left into recline spinal twist. As you exhale, press left shoulder deeper onto the floor. Gently draw the knees back to center. Let them fall over to the left side of the mat and turn your head to the right. This time as you exhale, pressing right shoulder firmly to the floor. Slowly roll over all the way to the left side of your body, taking a moment of stillness on your side. And gently press yourself up to a seated position. Now we're gonna move into our meta meditation. In meditation, it's important that you find a comfortable seat, whatever that means to you. It's legs crossed for me, but maybe that's different in your body. 
Some of us also might need to have a support to hold our back up. It's important to be comfortable. So maybe setting your back up against a wall, moving so that you can sit up against the couch. However you can sit comfortably, maybe that's legs wide open in a rough diamond shape. Find your comfortable seat. And especially if it's your first time meditating, I would suggest propping your back up against something. It's incredibly difficult to sort of focus on our mind when we're not comfortable in our bodies. Once you have that comfortable seat, place your hands at your sides or on your knees, palms face up so we're open and receptive to thought. You can either close your eyes or if you prefer to keep them open, Focus your gaze to the tip of your nose or down at a space on your floor. If eyes are open though, it's important to keep your gaze focused on one spot and not to wander around. Let's start with some deep breaths, breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. Again, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Last time, deep breath in and slow breath out. Settle into stillness. Bring your focus to your heart center. And imagine that there's an empty space there, space that needs to be filled. We'll start by picturing ourselves in that space. Picture what you're wearing today. However your hair may be styled. And plant a smile upon your face. Make sure you smile back at yourself. Repeating silently to yourself after me, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I be loving and kind. And to continue filling that space in our heart center Let's picture someone that we love there, someone easy to love, a friend, a brother, a sister, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a spouse, maybe a neighbor. Picture that person in your heart center and picture the last thing that you saw them wearing and picture a smile on their face as well. And again, smile back at them. Repeating silently to yourself, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be loving and kind. And now to completely fill this space in our heart center, we'll open that space for someone who's not so easy to love. Someone maybe we've been at odds with Maybe a brother or a sister we recently had an argument with. Maybe an old friend. A coworker. Picture that person in the center of your heart, however hard that may be for you. Picture them there, the last thing you saw them wearing. And picture a smile on their face, so big you see the teeth and smile back at them just as big. Repeating silently to yourself, may you too be happy, may you too be healthy, may you too be loving and kind. And now that our heart center is full, take a nice deep breath in through your nose, release out through your mouth, Again, breathing in loving and kindness and exhale. Take a second to thank your body for this practice. Thank your mind for your patience. 
and I thank you for letting me lead you on this practice. There is a light within me that honors the light that is within you. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed teaching it. I'll be teaching this same style, gentle yoga and meta meditation throughout this Retriever Recharge session. So please tune in for me again. Let me know if you have any comments or concerns. Thanks again. Hope to see you next time. Thank you.